Hi everyone, it's Helen. Uh, we're going for some live zest movement session. We've got about two minutes before we get started. Um, so settle in, I've got the chair in the right place. Laura, see me, yep. Yeah. So settle in um, and we'll get going in about a minute and a half. Um, so you can do this seated or standing. It's completely up to you, I'm gonna to sit today. Um, but if you are standing, just making sure that your feet or at least hit width apart, and that you have something um, just to help with your balance a little bit. So a chair, table, something like that. Um, but your choice, you can do a seated or standing. It's whatever feels right for you. Um, so yeah, about another minute, and then we'll we'll get started. Um, so just making sure that you've got enough space to reach out to the side, reach overhead, reach in front. Also, we're going to be extending the legs and bringing them out to the side. So just clear any space, make sure you're not gonna um, hit anybody or hit anything. We need to make sure we keep nice and safe. Um, and as always, just gonna move at your own pace and do what feels right for you, okay? Um, so about another minute and then we will get cracking. Just remember as well that if you enjoy this session, it is automatically recorded and put into the um, content on the Zest Wellbeing YouTube channel. So you can use it at any time. We've got lots of lovely stuff on there. So there should be something for everybody, something that everybody enjoys, okay? Um, so we'll just give it another minute and then we will crack on with some movement. Uh, so we're going to move all the joints today. We're going to move them in all directions that they can move, just to make sure that we stay nice and healthy. Okay. Uh, if you want to put music on, please do. Uh, obviously, we've got none playing here. But if you would like some music, I can't see you and I can't hear you. So you go for it. Okay. So that is half past two. If you're ready, let's get cracking. Let me start my timer. Ooh. Okay. So let's get ourselves ready. So if you can, just come away from the back support of the chair, all right? Feet are flat on the floor and sit up nice and tall. Just imagine how a bit of string connecting your head up to the ceiling. Shoulders are down and back, and we want that really proud posture. Okay, as I said, you can do this standing. So if you are standing, just make sure your feet are nice and wide and you have a chair or something just to help with your balance. So just do as much or as little that feels right for you. If anything hurts or doesn't feel right, just stop and join back in when you're ready and move as far as feels comfortable for you, all right? You don't have to keep in time with me. It's your session, you go for it or don't go for it, whatever you feel like, okay? So sitting up lovely and tall, let's get those tummy muscles working. We're gonna take a nice deep breath in and as we breathe out, I just want you to start tapping each finger to your thumb in turn, okay? So imagining your um, fingers and your thumb are like the pincer on a crab's claw. And we're just tapping through each finger to your thumb, okay? Almost like you're counting your fingers with your thumb, which is certainly what I do when I need to do any maths. I definitely have to use my fingers, because I'm not that clever, okay? So just whatever pace you want, just tapping those fingers to your thumb, and moving through at a pace that feels right for you. So, so we're going to move every joint. And we're going to move in lots of different directions. Okay. So just five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Well done. Now bring your hands together. Intertwine your fingers. And just start to move those wrists around. So you might circle them. You may want to do a snake. You may want to do waves. I just want you to move those wrists around as much as you can. Really important that we keep our fingers and our wrists moving. We always forget about these, but it's really, really important. So still sitting up lovely and tall, still taking those deep breaths, just moving those wrists around, okay? I always feel like it's like my hands are dancing with each other. They've got a nice rhythmic movement, just dancing and twirling around. Lovely. Ten more seconds here, and then we're going to start to move those legs. Fantastic. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Bring that to a stop. Give that a shake out. Lovely. Just resting those hands down. We're going to start to move the feet. 
So just taking one foot, just do some nice little toe, heel. Tap the toe, tap the heel, okay? You can leave the foot on the floor if you want to and just rock it backwards and forwards. We're just gonna keep that ankle nice and mobile. So it's gonna help with walking, okay? So when we walk, we should rock our foot through from heel to toe and we need to keep that ankle nice and limber, nice and mobile. So just staying on that one foot. Okay, we will move the other foot in a minute, don't panic. Lovely deep breaths, getting that head up to the ceiling. I was slouching then, wasn't I? Good, and then when you're ready, let's start moving that other foot. So you can tap the toe, tap the heel, or you can rock it forwards and back. Almost like a seesaw. Imagining your foot is like that seesaw. I used to love those in the playground, they were great fun. Good, and moving as far as feels comfortable for you. It might be a big seesaw, it might be a little seesaw, it doesn't matter. Okay, just rock it backwards and forwards. 10 more seconds here, and then we'll go back to those arms. Lovely, five, four, three, two, and one. Well done, give me a little shake out, a little pedal of those feet. Good, we're gonna move the arms. So when you're ready, just start reaching across your body to the other side, okay? So I want you to imagine that person next to you's got the good sweets, pinch them, all right? If you can, try and bring those hands up so they're in line with your chest. Okay, if that feels good, if it doesn't feel good, if it's causing you pain, go a little bit lower and find the right, the right spot for you, okay? And I've got a little lean going on with that body. You can do that if you want to, or you can just move the shoulders. Do what feels good for you, this is your session. But still, I do insist, I have one rule, and that is that you take nice deep breaths, okay? Really getting that air all the way down into your tummy. Five more seconds, four, Three, two, and one. Fantastic work. Resting there. Give those arms a little shake. Give those shoulders a little shimmy, shimmy. Good, nice deep breath in. And as you breathe out, we're just going to start to tap those toes out to the side and then back in again. Okay, so give me a lovely pointed toe. I want all your dancers to get those pointed toes out. So we tap to the side, back in, tap to the side and back in. Good. And just making sure you're lifting that leg. If you need to, give it a little help with the hand. And the other side. And as I said, you move at whatever pace feels right for you. You might go slower than me, you might go faster than me, you might be in time, it doesn't matter. Okay, we're just getting nicely warmed up. You should start to feel that little bit of heat getting going now. 10 more seconds here. You're doing fantastic, everybody, well done. Five, four, three, two, and one, well done, bringing those legs back in. Let's have a little shake out. And we're gonna reset, so sitting up lovely and tall for me. Take a deep breath in. As we breathe out, just bring your hands down by your side and just give me a little flop with the arms, okay? So I want to imagine you're walking, but no legs. It's just those arms swinging from side to side, okay? Getting those shoulders nicely warmed up. I'm feeling, I'm feeling the punching today, so we're going to have some punching coming up, okay? Lovely. Just letting those arms swing, not too high, just nice and loose. Ten seconds, just getting those shoulders moving. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Bringing those back down. Fantastic. Let's take a nice deep breath here. Breathe it out. And then when you're ready, we're going to do some heel digs. So bring that heel forward and then back. So I want you to show me the sole of your foot. So you're tapping that heel forward and then back again. This always reminds me of um, country and western dancing, doesn't it? Good. So as big a small step as you want to, but dig that heel in. So pull that toe back towards your shin. In and out. Well done. I was slouching and I'm going to sit up tall. I'm a terrible sloucher. Lovely job. Five seconds, nearly there. Four, three, two, and one. Well done, bringing those legs back in. Let's have a little shake out here. Fantastic, take a nice deep breath in. As we breathe out, one more exercise for the arms, we're gonna reach out to the side. Want to reach out and back in. I want you to imagine you're reaching to get something. 
and you're too lazy to get up, so you're just going to reach in the chair. Now, I've got a little lean going on with my body over to the side. If that feels good, add that in and just lean and grab that item off the shelf. Fantastic. Go 10 more seconds. Lean and pull, lean and pull. Five more, four, three, two, and one. Fantastic. Bring it back. Shimmy, shimmy the shoulders. Let's loosen everything up. Nice deep breath here. Breathe it out. Okay, we're really going to start to get that heat going now. We're going to go for a march. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Let's march it out. So just imagine you're heading for the boxing ring, okay? It's your turn and you want this determined march. The epic music is playing, your entry music your theme music, and we are marching down towards that boxing ring where we're gonna be, uh, we're gonna come out victorious, all right? So 10 more seconds, come on, march down to that ring. Let's go, get those arms going. Let's get some heat. Five, four, three, two, and one. Fantastic, bring that down. We're here, we're at the boxing ring. So sit up nice and tall. Take that deep breath in, and as you breathe out, we're gonna start punching. So punch those arms forward, okay? So the person is in front of you. I want you to aim for their nose. They are the same height as you. So aim for their nose or your nose in a mirror. So bop those arms forward and then pull it back again. And I want big smiles as you're doing this. Let's get all that stress and tension out of your body. 10 more seconds. Doing really well. Punch it out. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Fantastic. Shake out those arms. Let's just pause a minute. Take a nice deep breath in as we breathe out. So we've punched. Better do some kicking, haven't we? Okay. So I want you to have nice big kicks. So it turns out this is a uh, this is a martial arts fight. And we're allowed to get those kicks in. So I want you to kick as hard as you can. Okay. High, low, doesn't matter. You might aim for the shins. Might aim a little bit higher, but I want some nice front kicks from you. Lovely job. Keep kicking. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Well done. <laughs> Fantastic. Shake out those legs. Excellent. I think one more lot of punching is needed just to finish this one off. Okay, so take a deep breath here. Breathe out. I'm going to go for some uppercuts. So under the chin punch, strike it up. So that fist goes up towards the ceiling and we strike all the way up under that chin. And this is the knockout punch. Okay, go for it. Last lot of punching and kicking. We're going to... Uh, I'm going to get away from the old boxing ring after this. Keep going, keep going. 10 seconds. Nearly there. Five, four, three, two, and one. You're a winner. Well done. Shake out those arms. We got him. We got him. Good. Let's pause here. Let's take a nice deep breath in and breathe out. Okay, let's get those legs moving again. Okay, so for any dancers in the room, this is a rond de jean or a leg circle. So just give me a nice circle with that leg. So imagine you've got a pen on the bottom of your foot. Just draw me a nice circle with one foot and then a nice circle with the other foot. Okay, and that can be as big or as small as you want it to be. Okay, doesn't matter as long as we're just moving that leg around in lovely circles. Just getting that hip moving, keeping it nice and healthy. Moving it front and side. Lovely. Ten more seconds. You're doing really well, everybody. Excellent work. Nice deep breaths. Keep getting that air in. Five, four, three, two, and one. Well done. Fantastic. Pause there. Good work. Just give me a little shake of those legs. Good. Nice deep breath here. As we breathe out. Lovely. We're going to pop our hands down by our side now. And I want you to imagine you are a bird. Okay, I want you to fly. So those arms come all the way up and then they float all the way down. Lovely. 
So you can be whatever bird you want to be. You might be a dragon, you might be a butterfly, a fairy, whatever you would like. But those arms just float all the way up and all the way down. So it's actually a really nice blue sky here in Peterborough. So I want you to imagine you're swooping through the clouds, in and out, and just using that gorgeous big wingspan to float up. Five more seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Well done. When you're ready, bring those arms down. Give me a shake. Fantastic. Just rest there. Nice deep breath in. Breathe it out. We're going to do stepping over an object. So I want you to imagine there's something on the floor just in front of your feet. I want you to take a big step forward and then a big step back. Okay, so imagine you're stepping over something. And that item on the floor can be as big or as small as you want, okay? Um, you might be stepping over a book, it might be a slipper, it could be a great day in sleeping in front of you, but just a nice step forward, step over it, and then step all the way back. So if we can't go through it, we'll go over it. Lovely. A few more here, let's do 10 more seconds and just step up and over and back. One more. Step up and over and back. Awesome work, pause there, well done. Let's pause, just shake out those hips a little bit. Let's take a nice deep breath in, breathe it out, <sighs> lovely. One more before we start to cool down, okay? So we're gonna, we're gonna start picking up some objects now. The thing we've left on the floor, we're gonna pick it up. I want you to reach down and pull up, reach, and pull up to the chest. So imagine you dropped your blanket and you're going to pull it up to your chest, okay? And you can give me a little lean forward with the, with the, the hips if you want to, with your body, or you might just reach down with the arms. I just want you to reach and pull, reach and pull. Lovely job, 10 more seconds. Keep going. Well done, five, four, three, two, and one, fantastic. Rest those arms up. Just give me a really good shake here. Lovely job. Let's take a nice deep breath in. And as we breathe out, we're gonna to start to cool down now and then we'll have a stretch, okay? So just taking that head, why don't you just tilt your head from side to side. So ear goes to shoulder, not too far and not too fast. And just taking lovely deep breaths as we go from side to side, side to side. A few more here, good job. Three, two, and one. Well done, make your way back to center. And then we're just gonna to start to just roll out those shoulders in lovely circles. So just feeling that it's like a little massage for your neck and shoulders. And don't worry about any clicks or cracks, as long as there's no pain, it's absolutely fine. And if you want to, we can change direction so we can roll the other way. Just moving those shoulders about. Two more. And that's the last one. Good, relax down there, fantastic. We're gonna have a little stretch, okay? So just taking one leg, we're gonna stretch the leg out straight, leave the heel on the floor, Sit up lovely and tall for me, and you'll feel a really nice stretch down that straight leg. Just imagine you're warming your foot in front of the fire. I'm gonna give my toes a little wiggle, get them nice and warm. Let's take a deep breath. Breathe it out. Bring that leg back in. Let's extend the other one. So heel goes on the floor. Sit up lovely and tall, and you'll feel that fantastic stretch down your leg. Just giving my toes a little wiggle, imagining a lovely roaring fire there, and I'm warming my toes in front of the fire. Let's take a nice deep breath. Breathe it out. Good, just bringing that leg back in. Fantastic, let's stretch the arms now. So I want you to reach your arms out as wide as you possibly can. So I'm taking my arms back wider than my body, further behind my body. Deep breath here and breathe out and just start to round forward and give yourself a lovely big hug. 
Good. And then one more time, because I like a hug, taking those arms wide as you can, reach behind you. Deep breath. Breathe out. And I want you to reach all the way around. Big hug and a pat on the back for a job well done. Good, rest those arms down. We're gonna finish on some lovely calming breaths, okay? So just three breaths, so pop your hands together for me. Deep breath in, Shh. the hands go up towards the ceiling. And as we breathe out, we float the arms down to the side. Let's do that twice more. So breathe in, up to the ceiling, just come in those hands. And we breathe out, we float those arms. This is our last one, so want that breath all the way down into your tummy. Breathe, breathe, breathe. And breathe all the way out. And hands go down. We're gonna rest there. Lovely work, everybody, well done. Thank you for joining me, I hope you enjoyed that. If there's anything special you would like, please do let me know. Um, and don't forget the tea dance next Thursday on Zoom. And I hope to see you all very soon. Take care, everybody. Bye.